Here's how I can make this Garangi reflected text in Photoshop and Illustrator. We're going to start in Illustrator, click on the stroke, click on the none, and click on the fill so it's going to be on the top. And I'm going to change up the color to a light gray. Let's select the rectangle and I'm going to cover up the artboard with this gray rectangle. And I'm going to go to the layers, lock the layer, and let's create a new layer. Now let's go and select the type tool. Press and hold shift plus alt, scale up the text. And by the way, I went with the Akira extended super bold. And I'm going to go to the swatches, color it to white. And I'm going to right click on the text, create outlines, press and hold alt to drag it upwards. Also press and hold shift to isolate. I'm going to press and hold alt again, create another copy, drag it down, press and hold shift and create another duplicate. Now I'm going to make another copy, press and hold alt and drag it here somewhere. And I'm going to go and recolor this to black. I'm going to press and hold alt, drag it upwards, also press and hold shift. Now I'm going to go and select this one, press and hold shift and the bottom black text, right click. Let's go to arrange and send to back. And I'm going to select the blend tool, blend the white text together with the black text. I'm going to select the selection tool, click somewhere here. And I'm going to select the blend tool again and do the same thing with the bottom white text and the bottom black text. And now I'm going to select the bottom blend text, press and hold shift and also select the top blend text. And we're going to go and double click on the blend tool and I'm going to go select specify steps and I'm going to type in 500, click OK. Now I'm going to select the full text composition, press Ctrl C, let's go to Photoshop and I'm going to press Ctrl V, select smart object, click OK, press and hold shift and scale it up, something like this, double click release. By the way, this is my artboard size. From here, let's go to the filter. Let's go to blur and select Gaussian blur. And I'm going to increase it to 18. Click OK. And let's go and click on the smart filters thumbnail. Let's go and select the gradient. Make sure that you're on black and white basic. And I also going to go and select reflected gradient. And I'm going to go to the center of the artboard and I'm going to drag it upwards. Also press and hold shift. I'm also going to go and create a new layer. And on this new layer, I'm going to make another reflected gradient. So I'm going to go to the center, drag it, also press and hold shift. And as you can see, it is inverted. So I'm going to go to the properties and click on reverse. Let's go to the gradient layer and let's go to the blend mode and change it to multiply. Now I'm going to press and hold shift, select all the layers, right click and click on convert to smart object. From here, we're going to go to the filter and select filter gallery. And let's go to texture and select grain. And first here we're going to need to go to the grain type and select horizontal. And now I'm going to increase the contrast all the way up. I'm going to go with 90. And I'm also going to increase the intensity. I'm going to go with 70. Now let's go down here, click on the plus to create a new filter. And I'm going to go to the sketches. Let's select the torn edges. Now I'm going to go to the image balance and decrease it. And I'm also going to decrease the contrast somewhere around 7. And add a little bit of more smoothness, 14. And about least add another filter. Let's go to the artistic, select film grain. And here the highlight is going to be on zero, intensity on 10. And this way you can adjust the grain. I'm going to add more five and click OK. And this is how I make this Garangi reflected text here in Photoshop and Illustrator. Thanks for watching.